Hey, this is Taylor here at Truck World RVA. Today we're going to be looking at this 2018 Ram 5500. Four-wheel drive, Cummins-powered truck, a um, little over 130,000 miles. It's going to be a full demo video. I'm going to go around the exterior, the, in, the entire truck, inside all the compartments, underneath the truck, inside the cab, and uh, point out any imperfections or flaws that I find. The goal of these videos is to show you everything about the truck, as if you were here looking at it in person. So if after you watch the video, you have any additional questions or would like any more photos, pictures, or videos of anything, you can call or text anytime at 804-716-8487. I'm happy to send over uh, receipts for all the work we performed on the truck, as well as any information you might need. It's an 11 foot Atkins built service body. It's got some drawers in it, some interior compartment lighting, a Miller end pack that powers the crane, built-in compressor. Really nice setup all the way around. Take the key out. Oh, lights on. There we go. Does have a rear view camera. Four wheel drive. Again, it's a Cummins powered truck. 135, 148 on the miles. Power locks, power windows, cruise control. Steering wheel controls, vinyl seats, rubber floors. Cab of the truck's pretty clean, has a little bit of wear on this uh, driver's seat bolster side here. I do have a new bottom seat cover that we will put on this um, today, so that will look like new. Um, about halfway through the video here, get into a demo of the crane, so if that's what you're waiting on, feel free to skip ahead of that. Obviously, we'll do a drive and take a look at the engine as well. It's a little bit later on in the video. This truck came out of North Carolina. Um, it's got some dirt underneath of it. But no rust in the bin floor, body floor, or any of the compartments. rock chip here and here and here and a couple on the hood as well again nothing major just try to point out anything that I do notice uh, some dents front bumpers got a crease right here a small dent here it's kind of hard to see in the video but it's there steer tires are Michelin's Pretty good tread life remaining on those. The front of the bin here does have some rock chips. We have not painted this bed. Um, it does have the factory paint. It's in really good shape. The only spot. Um, really that would need any attention if you wanted to do it would be just a bed line, maybe the front of the bin. Um, but overall, the factory paint still shines and uh, doesn't really have any chips or scratches or anything in it, as you'll see as we go along. Here's your torch cabinet here. Tall cabinet here for your bottles. You have some shelving on this side. Um, all the compartments are lit. They have these LED light strips um, that reflect right into the compartment. It's a really nice setup. Atkins makes very nice beds. Um, every bed I've ever seen come out of them is uh, pretty well equipped. Bunch of extra dividers in there for your shelves. There is a product tank in the back of the bed as well. bed is a 2018 model bed most likely it's always been on this truck same year as the truck new drive tires Falcon matching across the rear uh, you got a little chip here and a chip here again overall the the body paint is in really good shape like I said lighting 
in every compartment. This is your crane compartment back here. Control panel for the end pack. Real craft hose reel, regulators, factory wireless remote. Here's a shot of the load chart. It's an HC7 auto crane, 20 foot maximum reach, two stage hydraulic extension, a 7,000 7, pound maximum lifting capacity. It does have the master lock system here. You can push this forward, put a padlock through it, lock it, pull it and unlock it. Obviously, all of these lock individually as well, and we do have the keys for them. Nice big workbench bumper here. It does have a pass-through compartment up top. And then a big compartment here at the bottom. This is your outrigger controls. It switches the hydraulic from outrigger to crane. And you have a spot here for your hose reel to come out of. The uh, end pack is the generator, so you have some power outlets there as well as on the other side of the truck. Heavy duty tow hitch receiver. Nice thing about these Atkins beds as well, is you have the big workbench bumper, nice lip there, and then you have these stairs on this side and a railing. These brackets up on top for mounting a welder. And then here's your end pack here. Here's the specs on the end pack. Like I said, it's an air compressor, hydraulic pump, and a generator as well. You can buy an accessory for it to do inverter welding uh, directly from Miller. Here's your product tank right here. Crane cable's in good shape. The crane side outrigger hydraulically extends and retracts. Uh, the non-crane side just goes up and down. Big compartment here with some shelving. Big open compartment here. A little paint flake there. You have a full set of drawers. The compartment right next to me as well, to my left, also has a full set of drawers. Truck's very well equipped. Um, the only thing it's really missing that it could use is a welder. It's nice they have the brackets run up on top to mount that as well. Don't have to drill into the box at all. There's the driver first compartment here, another set of drawers. Nice thing about the end pack is that you can run everything on your bed without having to run your truck. This truck has very low engine hours, and that is due to the end pack and being able to keep the truck shut off while you work out of it. So that's about the long and short. Um, oh, let me show you this too real quick. You have a scratch on the bottom side of this front door and then rock chips along the front just like the other side. Again, it's a 2018 model. Uh, we'll get into the cold start, the drive, and then I'll demonstrate all the equipment on it. But if you have any questions, it's 804-716-8487. Showing 1914 on the idle. 1,083 on the drive with 135, 148 on the miles total.
It's a Cummins turbo diesel, obviously. ASN automatic transmission. Uh, four wheel drive right down here on the dash. Does have the factory exhaust brake as well. camera in action. All right, let's talk a little bit about the lighting real quick. It has the front strobes here in the grill. As I mentioned earlier, it has interior compartment lighting in all of the compartments. Obviously, it's hard to tell in uh, daylight here, but they're very bright LED strips. The way they're set up is really ideal for lighting up everything in the compartment. You have two LED work lights on the rear, as well as your rear strobes. Didn't see this earlier. Uh, this part of the bin there just has a little dent in it, as well as right here on the housing for the light. This compartment is the one that does not have a light. Something must have happened to it at some point because it still has the holes for the wires, but the light is missing. Um, and then you have another light there. Here's your NPAC control unit. Five hundred and sixty two hours on the impact. there very quickly.
remote is a dual joystick factory, um, auto crane wireless remote. capable of doing multiple functions at once. Two-stage hydraulic extension to 20 feet, and again a 7,000 pound lifting capacity.
it is a proportional trigger so you can control how fast it moves you can really uh So thanks again for watching. Um, again, it's a 2018 Ram, 134,000 miles, four-wheel drive, Cummins-powered truck, Atkins built bed, NPAC, HC7 auto crane. Really nice truck all the way around. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487. Again, this is all we buy and sell if you're looking for something different. As you can see, I have uh, plenty of options here. We always have more coming in. So give me a shout. Thanks again.